Hey YouTube, it's Brian here, The Unlikely Runner, and just doing my midweek check-in as well as my post-race review. Last weekend I ran the New Milford 5K in New Milford, New Jersey, and uh, as stated in my previous video, um, uh, this is my homecoming event as well as my anniversary event. I ran my very first 5K a year ago, and uh, it was the New Milford 5K, and uh, it was quite amazing to see how far I've progressed in a year, um, and how much easier uh, the 5K <laughs> the 5K really is. Um, but I encourage everybody to get out there, run a race, um, challenge yourself, push yourself, and uh, you'll be surprised at how far you can go. So with that, I'm going to say the New Milford 5K, probably my favorite race. Um, not much for scenery, uh, not much for, for course entertainment, um, but there's always uh, cooling stations along the, along the route. Uh, that includes a tapped fire hydrant or a couple of tapped fire hydrants, and um, they do have a fire truck along the route. It is hosted by the New Milford uh, Fire Department. And uh, just a really great, really great event. Uh, the track is, uh, the course is really, really flat, really fast. And it's a championship event, so it brings a very diverse crowd, a very competitive crowd. And uh, so that really forces you to, to bring your A game. And uh, I will say I PR'd this, this, this race, and I'm very happy about that. Um, so I, you know, the, the, I guess the real big, the real big draw to this this race is that it's a, a championship race. Um, it's also has probably one of the best atmospheres as far as post race um, post post race festivities. There's live music. There's lots of food. Uh, lots of lots of raffles. Um, giving away some really great prizes. It's definitely the race that you want to go to uh, and definitely participate at. Uh, it's growing every year, and this year was no exception, and they did offer a shuttle service uh, because parking has been an issue in the past. So they did offer a shuttle service from the high school to the course, um, starting as, as early as an hour and a half before the race and running an hour and a half after uh, the awards ceremony. So. Which is really nice. Um, it's definitely a family-friendly event. Uh, it's something that you can take your friends and family out to and, and, and really make a, a, a nice morning of it. Um, I can't say enough really good things about this about this race. Um, again, the New Mufford 5K, get out there, check it out next year. Um, that's, I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, my next race uh, is not for a couple of weeks, and I will be doing a midweek check-in before then. Uh, I've got a couple others that I'm looking at, uh, including the color vibe in, in the middle of August. Uh, we'll see. I might go, might go check that one out. I've uh, uh, been interested in uh, doing a color run, and, and this one seems to be uh, fairly well-priced and, and recommended, so... Uh, I will probably check that out. Um, what else? Uh, that's about all I've got for you. So I want to say thanks for taking the time to check out my videos and follow my progress. Speaking of progress, I'm at officially 51 miles, 51 and, and a fraction of miles uh, for the year. So I'm over the halfway point uh, before the halfway point of the year. So I'm doing really well on reaching my 100 mile goal. And uh, I believe I'm going to easily make it so we'll see <laughs> barring any monumental problems uh, or mistakes or injuries uh, I should easily make my 100 mile goal this year and uh, so thanks for thanks for joining in on my journey and uh, we'll see what the rest of 2017 has to offer I'll see you guys in probably a week or two and till then thanks uh, thanks again be sure to subscribe, like, and comment. Um, I'll answer some questions if, if you have any. And thanks again.